A well-known brand in the world, 7-Eleven built the first convenience store in history. Their products are a part of American culture and focus on making customers' lives easier. Everything began in Dallas, Texas, United States. In a local school, a seven-year-old boy is enrolled in basic education. After completing his studies, he worked nearly full-time in the then-current miscellaneous stores, commonly known as grocery stores, that sold grains and basic materials. Working on unloading and settling all types of goods sold in these stores, after a long career of labor, his father Joseph Clark Thompson opened an ice store in the neighborhood where he lived. At that time, refrigeration was still a relatively new technology that was constantly improving. At the time, there were already stores that were distinguished by only selling ice, and one of these stores belonged to Joe C. Thompson and employed his young son, Joe Philip Thompson, a young man who worked every day at the ice dispenser, later became the CEO of the 7-Eleven convenience store franchise. After running his ice business with his son for a couple of years, Mr. Joe Clark Thompson's employee asks his boss to keep him and other co-workers lunches chill so they can stay fresher longer without spoiling before lunch. For owner Joe C. Thompson, storing food for his own employees caused no problems at all. As a result, the employees started chilling their lunches and other supplies for later. The workers started bringing in food to store in the frozen food dispenser, including milk, prepared meals, bread, eggs, and other foods. When the elder Thompson and his son realized that the perishable goods could be preserved for a longer period of time thanks to the properties of ice, they opened other small comparable stores and began using ice as a food preserver. In this way, they met a huge need and were the first store to provide fresh food that was safe for consumption. Then the ice dispenser changed. He made a commercial pivot from selling ice to selling all kinds of goods, much like grocery shops, but also included refrigerated goods. It transformed into something like to a mix of a store selling fresh meat, vegetables, and acorns. The company changed the name to the Southland Corporation and began running the new franchises. In this way, customers wouldn't need to travel great distances to complete their purchases, which is why many comparable stores beginning to open under the name Southland Company. The lifting of Prohibition in 1933 and the introduction of beer and liquor sales at ice houses had a major impact on the expansion of retail establishments. Everything was going smoothly, but the Great Depression hit the United States in 1929, putting the company's future in jeopardy for several years. But as the economy began to improve starting in 1946, the company managed to advance and began a process of renewal, which led to a new name, 7-Eleven. This name derives from the fact that his attendance hours were seven days a week, from 7 in the morning to 11 at night. Then it was considerably longer than any other stores. Additionally, their popularity grew and by the start of the 1950s, they had expanded to several other states. In 1963, they adopted the operating hours used today. It turns out that a store near the University of Texas decided to stay open until after 11 o'clock so students could shop after soccer games. Sales skyrocketed and they decided to stay open 7 days a week, 24 hours a day. They succeeded in breaking into the international market in 1969 after opening their first store in Canada. After discussions with the Ito Okada Corporation, they reached a beneficial agreement in 1973 that allowed them to operate on Japanese territory. As a result, Japan is one of the countries with the most 7-Eleven stores worldwide. This chain store has more than 60,000 stores spread all throughout the globe and continues to grow in size every day. And the key to their success has been designing a system that allows customers to enter and exit their stores quickly, while also being adapted to the fast-paced society of today. For instance, if you are in a heavily trafficked area of the city, and your car needs gas, it is likely that you are close to a 7-Eleven, where you may fill up your tank. But now that you're there, it's likely that you'll start buying something. It's possible that the things are a little more expensive, but you already have them nearby. You look around at what you can choose from and soon realize there's not much to look at so you go for a simple soft drink. The employee notices that you have a soft drink and asks if you would want to pair it with one of the potato chips you have nearby. Pay and leave the store within a short while. Therefore, 7-Eleven won't be selling you computers or cutting-edge technology items that need extensive pre-purchase analysis. Instead, what they provide in their stores are basics that everyone is familiar with and don't require such analysis. This drives them to sell quickly. Additionally, these employees will encourage you to make more purchases through a cross-selling strategy. With this strategy, you will be offered a product that complements what you are planning to buy, and if not, the store's own distribution will encourage you to do so. The popularity of 7-Eleven also stems from its franchise business model, which allows customers to own one of its stores. In these types of models, the company gives its brand image and industry knowledge to the franchisee, who will be in charge of running the establishment. For this reason, it is so well known throughout the world.
Perhaps the biggest challenge that 7-Eleven is currently facing comes from its rivals. In December 2016, Amazon opened the first store in the world without employees, allowing customers to move about without having to pass through a cash register. Amazon Go was an artificial intelligence experiment the company conducted, and its success has encouraged Amazon to open more stores. The first Amazon Go location in Seattle was essentially a little convenience store with about 1,800 square feet of retail space, and other locations have adopted this small model. You never have to wait in line when making a purchase at one of these stores. With the help of the Amazon Go app for iOS or Android, you may enter the store, purchase the items you want, and then leave again thanks to the app. The application is linked to their Amazon account for billing purposes. Similar stores exist in London already. However, they are called Amazon Fresh in the United Kingdom. This technology can track when goods are delivered to or returned from customers and keeps track of them in their virtual shopping cart. When the customer leaves the store with their purchases, their Amazon account is loaded and a receipt is sent to them. However, it is still too early to tell how successful this new idea will be. 7 Eleven was founded on a straightforward business plan that provided basic necessities in one place. Although their success today is impressive, they will have to compete with companies like Amazon Go, which has a cutting edge business model. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.